Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and it is time to plant one of my favorite veggies in the whole world, okra. Yes, I am getting ready to plant one of my favorite okras, but first we have to clear some room in the broccoli bed so that they'll fit. So before we do anything guys, I would like to say a big welcome to everybody that is new to our channel, all of our new subscribers, and also a big thank you to everybody that has been there from the beginning <laughs> and watching our channel and supporting our channel. So today I'm going to start to go through and just make room in the garden beds. As you guys know, I grow a garden in I grow a small space garden in the Arizona desert and sometimes you have to start things while you are still growing something else in order to be able to one make all of the Arizona seasons which there are five most people think that there's only four we also have monsoon season that has its own sort of planning situation going on so today I'm going to make some room in the broccoli bed and I am going to plant some heavy hitter okras now I have planted the red okras before, I did Clemson Spineless before, and I found these heavy hitters on Baker Creek, and it grew a lot of okra for me last year. So the idea is, is that I won't need as many okra plants because I will have just a couple okra plants that grow a lot. So let me show you the broccoli bed, and then we can kind of get into how we're then going to go about fitting these okra seeds in a pretty thick broccoli bed. All right guys, so we are gonna create some space in here so that then we can plant our okra. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at all of the leaves and decide which ones are coming off. Um, as you can see, we are starting, the white flies just started to come in. They haven't really took a foothold on the plant yet. I just think we just knock them off like that. So we are deciding which leaves we're gonna keep and which leaves we're going to put in the worm food bin. So the ones that we're gonna keep, we're gonna take those ones and dehydrate them so that then we can make our green powder. And then the other ones we will put in a plastic bag in order to have some worm food. So I'm gonna go through and start cutting. So here's just an example of a leaf that would go in the worm food bin and as you can see it has a lot of aphids starting to form on it. These were, this was the bottom leaf of this plant and you're going to find the most kind of damage and start to get like sick and ridden with bugs are going to be on the bottom leaves versus the top leaf of the plant. Alright guys and this is what we were left with. Right now half of the sun is showing on the bed and Half of it's still in shape. But as you can see, now we have open spots to start putting the okra. And I want to get okra at different times because if you guys have never grown okra, it will grow like a crazy plant and you will have just a million pods of okra. It's one of those plants that you have to harvest twice a day. So I only want pretty much like three kind of coming in at the same time. So that way I don't have six, but total in this bed, I want to put six. But first I'm going to put in the three, let those kind of come up. And while the broccoli is still doing its thing, then once those have been up and they're established for a little bit, then I'm going to take out the broccoli and then plant the other three seeds and let those come up. Okra is something we can have all summer long. I will have it all the way until the fall kills it. And yeah, that will be a lot. So. We're gonna try and space it out to where we don't have just a million pods of okra every single day. So people have asked me, how do I have a weed-free bed? And it's not true. This is a weed, guys. <laughs> I do get weeds in my bed, but I don't get a lot of weeds in my bed because I use wood chip mulch. Okay, so this is going to be my worm food pile and this is going to be my keep pile. Now, I need way more worm food than I do need green powder. So I just picked the very top perfect leaves, leaves for, the worm, or for the green powder and that's more so just to mix up the flavor in the green powder. It's not something that I actually really, really need. But last year I ran out of worm food and I actually had to go to the grocery store and buy a head of lettuce to feed my worms. So I wanna make sure I have enough this year and I'm gonna do that by saving more of my leaves since I have a lot of green powder inside. 
So this is just going to get chopped up, thrown straight into the bag. I'm not gonna wash it, I'm not gonna do anything to it because we're not eating this. So I'm just gonna chop it up and put it into a um, Ziploc bag that I can um, vacuum seal. So that way it saves room in my freezer and then I will have food for my worm bin. Okay, so now that I have the bed cleared out, it's time for me to put in the okra. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about fertilizer and what I do to fertilize my beds. I'm not going to go in and automatically broadcast a fertilizer on there right now just because I don't want the seeds to be getting too much like fertilizer and also the broccoli, it's in kind of like a, a weird stage. It's where it's going but it doesn't need anything really extra so that's one of the beauties of being able to start the okra at this time is that I don't need something in the bed in order to start whatever I'm getting ready to start and what's already in there doesn't need any more than what it already has but I did want to mention the one fertilizer that I do use it is an Arizona company called High Creations they have a whole line um, I really like their liquid for fish fertilizer Fish fertilizer is something that I have been using on my beds and I wanted to mention that one because we have a promo code for you guys and right now the promo code is worth 22% off. So I didn't want to mention it when I start to fertilize so then you guys wouldn't, wouldn't miss out on the actual promo code and the bigger discount. But what I am going to do is I went to the AZ Worm Farm and got another bag of compost. And I am going to put compost in the areas that I am going to plant the okra seeds. Not around the broccoli plants or like do anything with those. Those are fine. Those are growing well. But I am going to put just a little pile of compost and then plant the seed in there. And then we'll just water the bed. So I will show you guys. So like I said guys, we are going to stagger the planting. So we are going to start off with one here, one here, and one here. There's gonna be a total of six um, okras in this bed, but we don't want all six producing at the same exact time. And we want it to be able to grow up a little bit and then some have like an understory. It'll help be able to protect some shade and let the first round of okra be done a lot sooner and then the second round of okra come in and then we can have more okra and save their seats since I'm going to run out of heavy hitter seats. So I'm going to put a space here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to move back the wood chips. Now if we look in here, this bed really gets some worm action. So all of this little grainy stuff is all worm castings. That is all the fertilizer that the bed really needs right now, which is why these, these broccoli are growing so nice and healthy because there is a lot of worm castings in here. But we wanna get some more worm action going on in this bed without eating at the roots or you know needing to pull these back. So we're gonna add some fertilizer to this. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, like I said, I'm gonna move it back. So I'm not gonna dig down in here. All I'm going to do is I'm gonna move back the wood chips and I'm going to put the compost right on top, kind of like in a little pile. And then I'm just gonna plant the seed in the middle. Now, while, why I'm doing that is because eventually these are gonna to have to come out and the soil is gonna to start to lower because as you can see, as we talked about, these are already worm castings, which means a lot of the, the material that was already in here, the worms have already eaten. So this soil will lower over time and then once I get these broccolis out, then I can add more compost to the bed, but the ochre will already be at a higher level, so they won't be getting buried. Okay, guys. So now you can see that there's little mounds of dirt. That is the compost, and as you can see, it's higher than the bed, so it's going to have room to settle. I'm just going to stick my finger down in here and then drop the seed right down in and cover it up. All right guys, and that is it. I'm gonna take my few leaves that I have for the green powder inside and get those dehydrated. The other leaves I'm just gonna leave out here for a day so it allows some of the bugs to get off of them and go back into the garden. And yeah, that's it. So we planted our okra, which is our first real summer crop. Hooray, I'm excited. But until next time, grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye guys.